Welcome back to Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. It is session six and I've got a frog in my throat. This is part one. Uh, the gang had a great time last uh, session with um, manky fusions and turtle delicacies. But for more detail, let's go over to Chris Trot for a little recap. That's right, note boy over here. I'm Chris Trot. Hi, Chris Trot. That's Ross Hornby. I am, yeah, it says Hello, Chris that's Craig Trot. Frost. Yeah. I'm Craig Frost. Here I am to catch you up on the happenings of episode five in slightly more granular detail. Dinky wakes us up on our ship with a silver plate with uh, heavily energized, colorful sweets. You remember that? Titus stuffs a ton in his mouth and is heavily stimulated. Uh, we get Cannon Boy Kevin to move Kapipi's shell because he's out and about and, uh, we trap, and trap him in the hole. Uh, we approach Goldtooth's mouth and it is very busy. That is the port of Goldtooth R. Titus decides to row in with Kapipi in the back and they go extremely fast, actually beating our ship there. So well done. A humanoid tree frog walks down the pier. Uh, studious, rich velvet suit. It's the officiate Goyo. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah uh, arranged a meeting because they are um, working for the... Mickle. Man. Mickle, the Sal Go. Man, yeah. uh, and uh, have arranged a meeting at the Lusty Dog at 7 p.m., which leaves us some time to have a look about. Um, so we go back to our ship and load up our hole with cargo and Kevin. Dinky and Barry are invited to join as well so that they can see the sights and get off the ship for a bit by exploiting our portable hull. And, uh, and, sm and, and smashing the hull. And smashing the hull. Smashing hole. an portable with hull. Kevin yeah. With Kevin watching. In the corner. He has to Sorry. watch. Uh, the yeah. Mankeys are put in a cage and put on a trolley. And then we spot a couple of rough looking half orcs and uh, they offer to help and we pay them to do so. Well, and they drop it off outside um, the the apothecaries? The apothecaries, but not before that, we did spot the Fortune's Grasp, uh, which is that massive trading empire ship. Mm. And we saw uh, Tyrone the Quartermaster oh, yeah. in the gallows, and we kind of heckled a bit, and uh, he spotted us, and that wasn't very nice. Uh, we continued on land. There's lots of shops on the street. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mountains, went, yeah. mountains in the distance, lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of looks like a train terminal, you said. There's many different directions we could have gone, but we arrive at the apothecary. Sticky Mickey signs the orc's forehead to try and uh, cut the cost a little bit. Uh, that was and then his payment, yeah. This is Flagon's apothecary, and he gives us 875 gold for officially giving back the Mankeys. Uh, and then we take Mankeys round back uh, to a stone experimental room, and it's definitely ethically questionable, as there are things going on in here that are weird and he performs a really violent transmutation, pulling the hair, organ, skin and bones, and merging it together into the apprentice Johan, who unfortunately didn't come entirely back. More monkey than man. Well, because you guys killed a couple of the monkeys, yeah, it it left wasn't. a bit of the required material behind yeah. uh, to make him fully sort of human again. As if the gold wasn't enough payment, he also gave us a magical jug, which can be, uh, create different liquids a day. Yeah, the alchemist nice. jug. And we've also got three enlarged and reduced potions. That's good too. And then we left down the street uh, looking at all the vendors and stalls on the way. Uh, someone tried to steal from me and I drop kick him. Nice, uh, yeah. so then a street shark helps us out and then points us towards Turtle Bay, nice. which is a lovely joint that sells turtle food. Dude, indeed. And was it last episode we, we threw fruit at that dude? Yeah, that was yeah, Tyrone. Tyrone, the quarter. Yeah. Tyrone yes. got him good. We heckled him. Um, yeah. We opt for the VIP room and we opt for three turtle stews and uh, turtle bladder juices. Um, this is the first time Kapipi's ever had turtle. He's a turtle, and you know what? He bloody loved it, didn't he you, Kapipi? I did. And he I bloody was, loved it. He especially liked the, uh, the young ones. He the, did, uh, he had a penchant turtles. for the young turtles, which is a bit odd. Veal of the sea. The veal of the sea. Um, and then Kapipi also manages to get a big discount by exploiting the waiter's <laughs> semi uh, interest in Kapipi's musical endeavors. I wouldn't call it exploiting. I think it's just a way to trade. Well, yeah. he was very reluctant, but you did really push it, and we did get a discount. We did. So, yeah, even uh, though we got loads of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but that's not. You should. I don't think we dine in. You still be frugal. You can still. No, we just think. Well, about you it. tried. I think we one of you tried to run, to, and, and then I fell over immediately. Titus tried to make himself vomit to feign yeah. food poisoning. That's right. You guys tried really, we did, we tried really hard, hard to get out of paying that. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily. Sticky Mickey was, he was he came in. The, 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 I'm always looking away to save money. It's like, uh, you know, no one ever got rich by spending money. Well, you were lucky the elf recognized you and was a big fan. Yeah. Very lucky. 
And that's where we are right now. Okay, very good. Good recap. Thank you. Uh, so we begin part one of session six of Booty. As the varied traffic carries you along the beachfront promenade of Gold Tooth Town, a myriad of smells fills your nostrils. Traders with both shops and stands line either side of the wide paved road you walk. To your right is the maze of pontoons and piers that serve the many dock ships as burly sailors port goods and supplies to and from their crafts. It's late afternoon, the golden sun occasionally obscured by voluminous clouds hanging high in the sky. You hear the cry of gulls as well as the chittering of parakeets <laughs> and tiny marmosets perched along among the tall tropical trees which are scattered somewhat haphazardly around the neighborhood. A few hundred meters ahead of you lies one of several famous shipyards. Their mighty workshops house half-finished crafts that upon completion will spli slide down huge metal runners set into smooth stone slipways that take the ship out into the water. Just beyond these slipways, the bay floor has been dug out using magic to allow for very large vessels to be launched without damaging their hulls. There are several very new looking ships of great size sitting at anchor right now. Uh, so, I, yeah, you're walking along this road, past the out of Turtle Bay, heading down the street further. And like I say, you start to nice see ships. shipyards, large, freshly painted looking ships sitting at, um, at anchor just oh, outside. Just uh, look at them, boys. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Turtle don't half repeat, doesn't it? Repe it repeats on you. It, like, uh. Oh, is it coming back oh. up? No, and you no, did just, wolf it just, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wolfed it down. Sorry, anyway, that was a good meal. Maybe it's the fumes. I can smell that paint from here. Mm. Or the ships. Yeah, from those ships. They look new, don't they? Oh, they look oh. very fresh. Wonder what how much they cost. Yeah, yeah. Quite a lot. We what could mean? always pop in, couldn't we? It's not quite 7 p.m. yet. That's true. Yeah, let's have a little look. Yeah, it's have not a little wasting gander. their time if we're just doing a little test drive or something. All right, oh, boys. Yeah. I've seen this kind of dealings before. Oh, yeah? They try and give you all the add-ons and they try and milk you. So don't look interested in anything. What if I want to be milked? That's it's not quite what it's I not, meant. Oh, you don't mean literally? Means, no, yeah, there's means. probably well. brothels and stuff. No, of that. course, yeah. Uh, Where are those? Uh, I think Turtle Bay does one. Oh, we just came from <laughs> in the basement. In the basement. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, sure. Well, that's fair enough. Um, no, yeah, okay. Then, well, I'll follow your lead then. Basically, just be like, no, uh, I'm an R. Just I'm an R about yeah, it. Yeah, um, maybe they'll knock off maybe, the price. Maybe for point grand. You know what? Point out the flaws. Like, oh, there's a little. Scratch. Well, there's the there's floor. Yeah. Scratch there. Oh, right. We can you cause know, some. No. We can make some floors. I can make some kind of. Just make, make things look a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Just, just make sure they don't catch us damaging it, otherwise they'll charge oh, us. Oh, it won't. True. It won't be physical damage. It'll look damaged. Oh, okay. How does that, how does that work? Yeah, that yeah. Work? They get yeah. money off. And I don't know if you know anything about me. I like getting money off for things. No, that's fair enough. We just tried to get as much as we could. Yeah. yeah. The turtle place. So that's yeah, yeah. Perfectly reasonable. All so right. as you're chatting and walking, you round the corner. Previously, there's been lots of sort of single story buildings either side of this walkway. You've always got the beach side, which is mainly sort of stands and, and, and lean tos. And on your left hand side, you've got more established shops, stuff like the uh, Master Flagans Apothecary, which is more of a single story raised building on stilts. Um, however, you round a corner, um, and to your left, the, the land slopes upwards slightly. And, 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 and in front of that, you see perhaps one of the biggest buildings you've ever seen. These are huge. With the ceilings reaching up at least 20 meters, this massive wooden cathedral seems to go back into the hillside behind it. There's room for several large boats to be worked on at the same time. Dotted around the vast workshop, you see many different designs and techniques being applied. Uh, it's a huge large opening, like I say, that leads out in front of the building and down a slipway to allow the launching of boats. But this is somewhere that some of the, the larger ships, like the Caravel you were on, for example, may have started their, their lives as boats. The frameworks are developed and then boards and things are attached until they're sometimes launched and finished outside of these huge sort of hangars. But this is a, a massive covered building. This is for um, a really optimal way. You could build a ship on a pier or in a dry dock, which is, you know, a, a dock that's flooded. Weatherproof and then though. and this is weatherproof, exactly. This is the ideal. This way the workers and the artisans don't have to work out in the hot sun or in, in the windy conditions. Uh, like I said, a massive, massive building. You walk in through the large, epic. wide entrance. It is an, an epic building. This um, is epic. Like I say, you spot at least three different crafts uh, being developed and built with smaller side projects scattered amongst them. Uh, this is a place of innovation. This is a place of, uh, of artisans 
applying their craft to their to their best, developing uh, new ideas in in a, in a region that's full of uh, exotic new things. Got us a sloop over there. That's the catch. It's a brigantine. Nice caravels. Got loads of those. Exactly. Got the a galley. Ships it amazes me. That's oh, a galleon. That one you can that's tell. That's brilliant. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frigate. Probably have some of those, don't they? Probably, I don't know yeah. if it's uh, quite a big enough warehouse for a Queen Anne's Revenge. No, the, yeah. I mean you're, you're looking at these. These are medium-sized ships at most. You probably don't have any full-sized ships because they are gigantic. It's you know, so those knowledgeable. would be needed to be built in dry dock. I actually uh, look at a tattoo on my arm of all the different ship. I love them. <laughs> I've collected them all. There you go. So you've all got the flat, ships. I've got that down your arm. <laughs> down my arm. Yep. Um, Brigandine, that one. Yeah. As you step into the entrance, there's open entrance of this large, um, let's call it a hangar, but you wouldn't yeah. know what a hangar is. It's you know a large warehouse. A female furbolg strides towards you. A tall um, woman of broad stature. She's wearing a brown leather apron over a green rough spun shirt and long tough trousers. A wooden mallet in one hand, shavings of wood litter her person, peeking out of her pockets and scattered in her hair. Hello, I'm Mara Okart. Welcome to my little shop. How can I help you? I was literally just looking around. We're not even that interested, honestly. They, they look like very average ships. Just having a bit of a browse. Just to look. Yeah. Uh, what are you building at the moment? Oh, just we, ships. We have many, many projects. Uh, uh, just buoyant ones. Very, very buoyant. Yeah. Um, we, we, I have many artisans. We're all working on different projects. I personally am uh, more of a, uh, a detail specialist. So I've been, I've been you know, she, you can see this, she's got like the shavings of wood and stuff littering all over her and, and the wooden mallet. And then on her side, there's a pouch of lots of different chisels. And okay. she's, she's she working some patterns. I and make uh, figureheads, um, beautiful, ornate steering wheels, uh, anything you like. I, I'm a bespoke uh, artisan when it comes to design. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that. What, what do you mean? You sound like you're afflicted by bespoke or something. I've never heard of that disease. Oh, no, it's not a disease. It's, it, it's, right. it's, I, 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 I make our clients' dreams come to life with beautiful designs and oh my God, setting that sounds, wood. That's more than you could ever do. That's not true. Make dreams come alive. I can make some... I can, no, I can't do that. That's insane. I've tried to do that as well. That's you really ever, frustrating. It's a hard spell. You ever made a figurehead of a, a turtle? I can't say I have. I'd love to try. You've got lots of smooth edges. It might be quite a challenge. I could use sanding, perhaps, to really get that sort of dome shape of your head. Oh, how um, much would that cost, if I may ask? Oh, Something a figurehead? The, yeah. yeah. Uh, it depends on the complexity, but uh, it can cost me. anywhere between, oh, let's say, One 250 like gold up. Oh, I know, a figure, figurehead specialist, artisanal, that does it for at least three quarters. I'm just trying to give you a rough figure. Yeah, that's head. fair. Honest, honestly, right, yeah, we're not head. interested nice. at all in getting a replica of no. Kapipi's face Wait. on our brand new ship that we're going to no. buy from here. Oh, you're looking to it. buy a ship? Wow! Oh, wow. I mean, not really. We're not I mean, desperate, you know. We just, you know, yeah, if we, have, we can we, be bothered. We just buy ships when we feel like, yeah. you know, oh, that, that one takes our fancy. We'll get we're that one. Ships, you know? But our budget is so stretched thin, it we can is, barely yeah. scrape it. Yeah. Well, let me take you through. Some of the other ships we bought. Would you like a, a yeah, sort of yeah. tour of the place? Are you interested? Yeah, let's have a look around. Oh, what's around us here? We have got places to be. Give me like ten minutes. Perhaps another time then. No, we can do well, it we can now, see, Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. No, uh, no, I've got to get back to some chisel work I'm doing. Um, can that's, you show us? No, that's fine. Um, Give me a second. I can cancel Why are the, you all looking at your wrists? Oh, uh, I just... Oh. What's on your wrist? We've got a bit more time. You've got some time? I just realised yeah, the meeting was okay. The meeting's the later. The time, time zone. Meeting's later. on the other side of the aisles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just look around. We've got all all means. Come on in, come on in. So you follow this furbolg. She's taller than all of you, by the way. I mean, she's quite, she's quite, I wouldn't say intimidating, but she's got a presence to her. Yeah. Even um, taller than, than Kapipi. Yes. I'm really wow. into tall women. Yeah, yeah, like she's, really she's, tall. she's a oh. big, broad, <laughs> fur bowl. Like, like looming tall. Like looming tall. Like, <laughs> I have to look, craning neck tall. Um, so she takes you into the, into the workshop. Mm -hmm. The main project that's, that they're working on, they've got sort of one big, this looks to be sort of a small uh, clipper style ship. I say small, it's still 50 meters long. Um, and so it's quite, clip, quite see, large, but in comparison to like a... Oh, which one's a clipper? It's about two inches Oh, about two inches. Tall. That's quite tall. Uh, sorry, let me on that. 30 metres long. 30 metres long, 50 metres. Oh, it's more the tattoo. Uh, it's mm. about that big. Three inches. Uh, it's about 30 metres long, this caravel. Um, it is up on sort of stands. It's on stilts. They've got these massive oak 
um, beams and support structures that are in place to keep the hull off of the ground as um, different members of a, of a large team of, of many cultures and, and species are painting the hull. You've got somebody up on the deck fitting the metal work, chiseling that into the edges, to measuring for like cannon holes, things like that. They're all doing lots of detail work. This one's almost done. Um, beyond that um, is uh, something that looks slightly, a little bit like the semi-submersible you saw the, uh, the, the Loblins had. It's, it's an interesting design. It's, it's got a Loblin. One of the Loblins is there working on it. This seems to be quite a wizened Loblin. Seems he's got little glasses on, um, tufts of uh, what looks like hair, but it, on closer inspection is sort of kind of fuzz growing off of the, the chitinous sort of shell uh, he has towards the top of his head. Um, they're developing something that looks to be half made of metal, half iron even. Um, it has uh, perhaps only eight to 10 meters in length. Doesn't have any discernible sails. Uh, it does have what looks like some form of screw or propeller system built to the back of it. Some sort of advanced propulsion system that they're working on. Um, beyond that, there are tables and workstations dotted around, um, all developing different things. You see a human male um, in his late 40s uh, with just a rack of weaponry. You know, there are small cannons there, larger cannons on the floor. There are um, different bits of equipment, uh, forges there, uh, lead bubbling in a um, crucible uh, by the side as he, as he experiments forging different forms of cannonball and bullet and things like that. Um, there's a druid working on um, what looks like a living ship. Uh, so so the parts of this ship have uh, leaves and branches growing from the mast. You know, this, this is a druid clearly doing some form of life or sort of natural magic to enhance and, and grow elements of the, of the wooden um, bits of the ship. So like I say, the mast itself is uh, quite uh, alive. Uh, yeah, so, so you're wandering through. Uh, as you can see, we have many experts here. We have a team of the best talent in the world uh, here to forge new things and explore their craft in the presence of exotic new discoveries. We have artificers. We have druids, as you can see here. Uh, this over here, and she comes over and introduce, introduces you to the human male who is fiddling with things. It's, uh, uh, this is our, uh, a, re he's a retired marine and he's an expert in armament. This is, uh, he's called Adams. We call him Adams. He's like, right? Um, Hi. Hello, we have Adams. many, many specialist carpenters, painters, uh, sail weavers, cloth, cloth merchants, everything you can think of. You come to the best possible place to get the best possible ship. Wow. Now, where should we start? How, how long does it take to build a ship from scratch, might I ask? Well, it depends how you do it. Um, well, how do you do it? How do you do it? Uh, if it but that depends on your budget. You What's the well, quickest you build one? We could build you a ship in a month. A month? I want one now. How much would one of them cost if it was a month long? One? Yeah, so what about this one that's been painted right now? The one, the big one you saw, the, the small are caravel. All, the, are these all, all spoken for? These, well, they're spoken for at the moment, yes. We've got a couple uh, down um, at the pier that the could be bought from us, modified perhaps for your particular needs. Uh, we had a couple of customers that uh, were sadly lost at sea and right. never came to pick up their ships. So you've got a used ship showroom. Well, it's uh, nearly new, let's call it. Show, uh, showroom, right. um, uh, tarnish it, uh, yeah, let's say. for me, nearly new. Uh, yeah. The ship here is, is spoken for at the moment. I mean, it's, not, it's no small thing to build and pay for a ship, put right. it that way. This caravel here has taken us almost six months. Uh, and Did you ever feel like it's a total waste of time doing all the painting below the surface of the sea? Uh, the paint actually prevents uh, corrosion and uh, it's actually something that needs to be done every six, six months to a year. You take the boat out into dry dock and you would then service and repaint the hull. Ships are never left unpainted because they would rot away very, very quickly. Right. Yeah. That was the right answer. He knows the ships. Like, yeah, yeah, we know the ships. Yeah, we know the ships. He knows, about ships. Right, okay, he knows yeah. a lot about ships. Yeah. Do you know Did what keel hauling is? Sorry? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keel, keel. keel hauling. Keel Don't yeah. remind me. <laughs> he doesn't t stop talking about keelhauling. Keel I was you just doing it yesterday. You tell, you tell us so we can start you lunch. if you're right. Yeah. Oh God, you can keel hauling people. That's a um, pretty brutal punishment. Yep. Right. But yeah. harsh out on the seas, isn't it? It is, What's it is, yes. It is. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I've got a clue. Sounds cool. Ask. What would you describe keel hauling as? Where you're in from? Your, in your well, world. you ask about the, the the painting of the hull is all I is all I say because if you let your hull get into a bad state of repair, 
gets mm. covered in barnacles and all the other stuff that happens. Mm. Uh, Keel hauling was an archaic punishment where you would tie the hands and legs of a uh, person. Uh, you would run the rope underneath the hull of the ship and then you would pull one end of the rope so it drags the person's body underneath the hull and under the keel, which is the oh. center part of the hull. Mm. And because of the qual all of the, the barnacles and things building up in the hull, they would be cut to ribbons. Mm. Uh, that, that is the process of keel hauling someone. It's yeah. usually, an, it's, a, it's a painful execution. They'll bleed out eventually. Yeah, it sounds about the same. Yeah. It's what you were doing yesterday. Yeah, he that's loves what you were that. doing. He loves it. He does yeah. it. He's, just, he's got the, the best We usually do it to so like traders that overprice their goods, oh, yeah. that yeah, sort of thing. So... We try and like get conned out of like luxury items that we don't yeah. need, that sort of thing. Yeah. Right. We're also very so... reasonable people. Well, it's, I can tell. We're good businessmen. You yeah. certainly seem that way. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, uh, you, you're looking for a ship. What kind of length are you looking for? Oh, oh ship kind oh, of length. Like, yeah. I don't think it needs to be too long. We it's don't not, need to no. I'm not trying let to me, show off here. Like, let me tell you a few things that our customers might consider. Yeah. Okay. It, it, what sort of hull? What size? First of all, what length? Yeah. Do you want it? What number of sails? Do you want it a fast ship? Do you want it a heavily armored ship? Do you want a ship that has a lot of guns? Do you want a large cargo capacity? Do you want a lot of crew? Do you want to be able to crew it yourself? Not that money is a big issue for us, because it's not. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be, we wouldn't but, uh, think too how much, much about it. Would, like, what kind of price range are we talking about for like just the, the basic ship? Like, uh, you know, like a not too big ship, not got all the armaments, but like, you know, it'll get us from A to B, maybe a couple of barrels on board and stuff yeah. like that. Like, how much are we talking for that? 15,000 maybe? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the uh, problem, you see, and this is what oh. instantly brings up keel hauling yeah, to me, because that sounds like huh. absolute daylight robbery. Yeah. Robbery. Yeah. Robbery. Yeah. It is robbery, robbery to me. Right. right. Do you say 1,500 or 15,000? I'm sure there was the right amount of num zeros on the end there. 15,000 gold. I mean, I, yeah. 15, That's what we'd expect to pay for a basic ship as well. Yeah, I How don't much know. we got? I don't know. Uh, well, you can't sell many can't. at that price, surely. We know. Well, I mean, the people that come and commission these things are, are either wealthy individuals, rarely, or, you know, enterprises, conglomerates, businesses, yeah. uh, countries. It's no small feat to build a large ship, especially one to yeah. go beyond, you know, the rivers and coasts. Uh, the caravel uh, that uh, I believe you came in on, uh, mm. I believe me, is a ship. Uh, we, we, we know that ship well, Mickle's. Uh, Fat duck. Yeah, so you know the kinds of ships that we deal with, is what yeah. I'm saying. I mean, that is a masterpiece. How much is that worth? Is that out of The fat GFC? duck? Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> has to be six figures at this point. Six. Whoa. I mean, that, that is a masterpiece. It, it has enchanted. various levels of magical enchantment. It has yeah. uh, the crew. Have you met the crew? Oh, oh the crew, no, we did see. We are actually in command of the we crew at the, the moment. Crew. Wow. We returned the ship. You're in command we, of yeah. it. Oh, that's impressive. Um, you want to see one? The crew members. Yeah. I'd love to see one. Oh, Whacked out all three of you. We're very, very tight knit with Mickle, is what we're saying. And uh, it would be very good business, you know, to get your name out through such a high profile contact. I think he so, recommended this, didn't he? This place. Yeah, he, he did. said, well, they he do good like, deals. They're great deals. Down there. Obviously, there's loads of options, but. Yeah. Do a persuasion roll. <laughs> oh, that's a 19 plus my persuasion of minus one. 18. <laughs> well, that's a good point. I, I suppose you're pretty close with Nick Mickle then, if he trusted you to retrieve his boat. Yeah. I've seen right. him naked. That's You saw him naked. I did too. I think I've seen him naked, to be honest, a few times. Yeah. The Harbour Festival yeah. we had last year, we, we were all dancing in the, the, the fountains of the, the mm. central town. Oh, it's hilarious. So this hole, yeah, what's this about? about? Oh, sorry, it's coming up. We got a little boy, yeah, a little Dinky. In there. Yeah, we got Dinky and Barry Lovegood. So you've yeah. whipped onto the floor. The, onto crew, the floor, the yeah. enchanted crew of Mikkel yeah. Salgo. So she looks down into the hole and she can see them in there. They're just like, uh, oh, hello, what are you, Pat? You know, like Barry's down yeah. there again, mystery, mystery accent. Um, they work diligently on the ship. Oh, wow, look, look at them, they're ethereal. Yeah. That, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. that, is, that is crazy. They produce a little bit of their own light as well, which is nice, yeah, yeah. considering how dark it must be. Is it a boy in there? Yeah, that's a little boy, yeah. You know, a ship Eleven. boy. Yeah. Just a little classic ship boy. Ah, oh, yeah, cabin yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, loads of cannons, that sort of thing. It's all like, just some ectoplasm or something in there as well. Oh, Sorry. is that a chest of gold? Ectoplasm. Yeah, pull up, the, pull up the hole. Pull up the yeah, hole. Okay. You don't need to see You've the seen enough. Money. Well, thank you. But sharing that was yeah. beautiful. They're amazing. You know, that's probably patented. So you probably can't use that idea for your ships. No, I know you're clearly course. trying to break the mould here The ethereal bit. crew? Yeah. Oh, if only. Yeah, yeah. We're, That's quite a luxury item. Uh, yeah. That we've gone quite accommodated to. We, we've 
We like the idea of having a, a crew that's just at our beck and call at all times and then we can dismiss them at the tip of a hat, you know? They must so, be lovely for uh, a, a control freak, especially. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you said you have nearly new ships. Yes. And how much, how much would Show those... Showroom spoiled. How much would those go for, perhaps? What's your, cheap, dense what's your cheapest ship you've got what today that we could sail away ship? with tomorrow morning? Just the cheapest ship We I've just got. need a run around. We, you know, cheapest ship. Look, let's get out of the pier, shall we? Yeah, should look, we walk that, down yeah. to the pier? Let's yeah. Or what about that meeting coming up? Or the meeting... That's at seven. Yeah, but we can still... Let's have, well, it's about 5 p.m. now. I'm... You know what? what we'll give at. this person our time. Of course. A yeah. little bit valuable, more of our time. Valuable time. We'll go to the pier. Yeah. I've made an executive decision on behalf of our very wealthy company yes. yeah. that we will make time for you. We're going to make time mm. for you and uh, look, maybe make a purchase. You never know. So, uh, Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, follow me down to the pier. He's off. Uh, you're, you're sounding way too into it. You need to right. yeah, Sorry. yourself, mate. Sorry about that. Ridiculous. So you walk out the front and down the slipway and off to the side of the slipway is... Um, Fucking hell, I slipped. The ship, you yeah, careful, it's slippery. Uh, That's why they call it that. It is. This is a slipway. You slick it up with oil or something. Well, we, we some of it comes off of the boats as we, we guide them down into the sea. Uh, be careful. Christ. There's a really massively broad slipway with these huge metal runners set into the ground that guides the ship down into the water. Um, you've got the lovely crystal clear water lapping up against the stone ramp there. Um, off to the left, you have a series of pontoons, floating piers. Um, an anchor sat on these piers, or rather attached to these piers using lines and, guy and ropes. Um, you have several ships, one of which is rather small. This is a single masted ship of perhaps only about 30 or 40 feet in length. Um, it has no armaments as such at the moment. It has a single sort of cabin to the rear, which uh, is probably enough for the three of you to sleep side by side on the floor. Um, it has a table and a few cupboards inside it. Um, and uh, it, it is, it, it's small. It's a small um, room on the rear it's of this a ship. A room. It, it's, um, it's like, it's like a, a, a forecast, a, a, a forecastle or a, a, a rear castle of the ship. Has it got know? a cutesy name, this Ima one? Imagine a fishing ship, a modern fishing ship. You know, those kind of like small yeah. wheelhouses they have. That, but the wheel for this is actually in front of that room. So it's out on the deck a little bit. Behind the mast, you have the wheel. Beneath it, you have a small cargo hold underneath, um, which is enough for a decent amount uh, of, of cargo hold. You can climb down into it, but again, it's barely tall enough for you to stand up straight. And like duck into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's accessible, functional cargo space underneath the deck of the ship, but that is about it. It's dark down there. There's a small access grate that you lift to climb down into the cargo hold. Um, it doesn't have enough space for rowboats or anything like that. You could perhaps lash one or put one on the main deck, but it would kind of be in the way. Uh, and it has a single sail, reasonably tall, you know, about 20, 30 feet high. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a simple boat. It could, it could have a cannon on it. Maybe it could have one or two cannons on it. It would seriously weigh the boat down. And on the nose, you, you would have, imagine the smallest ship in Sea of Thieves. That's what you're dealing with, okay? A real sloopy. Yeah, a small sloop. On the opposite oh. side of the pier is a larger ship. It's not as big as the caravel that you were in, not as big as the Fat Duck. It's somewhere between the two. Um, it has two sails. It has a uh, much larger cargo hold, enough space for four cannons, um, all on the top deck. There are no space for cannons beneath, like in the Fat Duck. Uh, again, four cannons on the top deck. Uh, it has a small rowboat attached to the rear oh, on, on, on robo angled wooden cranes. We do like rowing these days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, it has a small captain's cabin with a single staircase up the side of the cabin leading to a forecastle on the rear, which is, um, you know, you can stand up there. You can have a look around. That's where the captain's wheel is as well. I think so I've got these two. Well, oh, I mean, pretty... this one looks like it's built for a child. Yeah, I mean, so I think but, we'll but look haven't, look haven't said it's a novelty boat, that one. A novelty joke boat. Novelty joke boat. You just got a joke <laughs> a on the side boat. for the... Is it, it's it, might quite, it might be quite nice to have a. It might be quite nice to have a little boat though, because we're so yeah. used to gigantic ships. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got such yeah. a big fleet. Like it's quite nice that's... sometimes to just mix it up. Well, uh, like how much is that one? Kind of. Not well, the there's one. There's a th which one? The large the, the, one. The little one to begin with. The, the little there. one to begin with. Just, just it's eight thousand gold. That's eight thousand. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's, that's a piece of shit. Eight thousand. The larger one. That's ridiculous. With four cannons, and it has got the four cannons. How much is the bigger one then? Yeah. 
12,000. 12,000, yeah. Okay. okay. Obviously there is that's... a third ship. Hmm? Now, this ship looks quite different in design. It's sleeker and it looks faster. It has a narrower, longer hull. Again, it's about 30, 40 feet long, mm. um, and, but it's designed for speed. Uh, it's what many would describe as a clipper. Um, so this is something that's designed for speed over massive amounts of quantity. It makes up for um, its cargo hold width by just being long. Right. Um, it is beautiful dark wood. Um, the sails are ang very sort of angular, sharp. There was th actually three masts on this ship. Uh, and um, two forward-facing cannons on the nose. Wow. Um, so this is sort of a, a Corvette-cum-clipper. So th this was designed um, as a blockade runner, um, as a uh, ship designed to take on the deep oceans but make crossings at speed. And this ship is 14,000 gold. Right. This is, however, clearly the best ship of the three in terms of its style. The other one probably has a bit more usable space, a bit more utility, but this one is a bit more of a bargain because the person that uh, was going to buy it was actually blown How to much? pieces by an Empire ship. 14,000 gold for this Was he blown to pieces on this ship? 14, no, no, no. They were coming back to recall it, a very successful um, blockade runner. Uh, so blockade running was like, when countries are at war, to stop them being able to get supplies from other nations via naval resupply, you would blockade uh, the ports and this is done by setting lots of well-armed ships out in the water so that if they spot another ship trying to make a run for it they blow them to pieces. The, there is however a great difficulty in blockading an open sea so they relied on sort of firepower and, and numbers but if you could make a ship that was fast enough and sleek enough they simply couldn't engage with it in time so the, it would run the blockade essentially and that's, that's, that's what you're looking at here. How uh... How late are you open tonight? Like, what time do you close? Uh, we work very late. We work uh, until 10, 11 o'clock at night sometimes. Right. But I live right next to the shop. I mean, I, 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 I love, I live my work. So just next door, just give me a knock. I'll probably be up with the boys having these, a drink. Because um, these free ships, like, you know, they've all taken our fancy a little bit. You know, yeah, we might oh, even buy all free, you never know. <laughs> But well, are they likely to still be here in the morning? Like, can we just have a night to sleep on it and just... Yeah, of course, I'll... Um, They're not going to go, are they? They're not going to go. Uh, right. Remind me, what, what quotes did I give you for these again? Oh, oh you so got 8,000. 2,000, I think. Two. Uh, small was two. Eight, 12, well, it was 8,000 for the Six. three, wasn't it? It was 8,000. It was a bunt, it was a meal deal. 8, 12 and 14, thank you. Eight, 12, yeah. 14. Um, of course, yeah. That's what so, I said. Um, right. So anyway, uh, thank you for looking at these ships. Um, no worries. If there is any bespoke work we can do for you, um, mm. that would be yeah, ideal. Um, and uh, as you're sort of chatting, um, mm. academic looking young man mm. approaches you in a long blue robe. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, hello. hello. You, were, you were recently in Master Flagon's shop, correct? Yeah, Sorry, yeah, no. Yeah, are you even following us? Who no, are you? I can't not go. Who are you? Of our business. Oh, yeah. No, I can't sorry. make it's a point a of like, looking I, at... I work in Master Flake and shop. Who shall I make it out to? He's... Oh, no, he's right. an errand. Excuse me, uh... I have a letter here from Master Flagon. Oh wow, okay. Oh, Probably another fantastic. huge business deal, I imagine. Oh, yeah, imagine. it's one of the ship, maybe. Yeah. They love our ships. Oh, we might just get a free ship, yeah. We're always getting ships and stuff. All right, let's... uh can you read? See what this says. I, I think I can read, yes. <clears throat> Let's do it quietly. Uh, excuse, give us one second. Please. Yeah, no problem. So we'll take um, it to one side, just... Uh, it's fine, I'm going to go now. Not you, just, get out of here, you. He runs off. We've got the, your message. Right, yeah. We've got the message. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, well, you're on your job, aren't you? Uh, Amira just goes and starts like tight, tightening up ropes and stuff, making sure the ships are all good. Right, this says, for the attention of Titus, Sword and the Clumsy Tortle. That's us, that's us. Clumsy Tortle? That's oh, us. I broke his chair. I broke oh, his you chair, did, of course. Yeah. Uh, following our brief meeting, I have some, made some hurried inquiries. If you require alchemical enhancements to your future craft, I have two good leads for the reagents I will need. Oh. The first is a caravan of miners heading into the nearby hills to exploit a recently discovered lead vein. Mm -hmm. uh, any lead you bring me will return a 30% share of the resulting gold once transformed. Oh, lead to gold. This yeah, is, yeah, it's transmutation, yeah. Thing, of course. Of course. Um, you will find them at the Rusty Axel pub Rusty Axel. in the middle of town. I think we walked past it, did we? So what's that, a group of miners? Yeah, a group of, a uh, caravan of miners, in fact, uh, heading yeah. into the nearby hills. 
Miners um, and not miners. It says miners. Right, okay. ER. ER. Right, okay. Not children. Maybe no. they are children. They could be children. It doesn't miners. matter. It doesn't really matter. They could matter. be minor miners. I'm not bothered if it's children. Just need the Children lead. should be in mines. They're small places. Yeah, they can anyway. get better access. Uh, the second lead is a crew of oilers heading to a secluded mudflats containing hot oil geysers. This oil is highly versatile and will allow me to create many exotic materials suitable for augmenting your ship. Oh. This crew can be found in the tea house known as the Leaky Kettle. Leaky Regards Kettle. Regards Master Flagon, Arcanist Extraordinaire. Wow. Why does that ring a bell? Leaky kettle. The leaky kettle, I don't know. Did we walk past there? No, I, I, maybe I just literally oh. have a leaky kettle that I need yes. to sort out at home. Oh, you've just got a leaky kettle? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. That's right. probably what reminded me. We try and push up our, our gold amount and get some of that lead. Yeah, the other thing. A bit of oil? The other thing, we're obviously Toad? we're about to return Mickle's ship as well in a couple of hours, aren't of we? Of course, yeah. Did he say how much we were going to get paid for that? Because I'm just thinking, like, we got oh. what we got about six grand now. The no, minimum no, 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 is no, no. eight, but we really would like the bigger shit. Boys, we've got seven thousand seven hundred forty-five Gs. What? Oh, oh. So right we. So at the moment we're looking at a couple of million. Uh, yeah, yeah all, like, all liquid. Five here, five there. Yeah, lots of investment seven. opportunities. Uh, Loads of no too much. Man. I kind of, what do we do with all this? So we've got seven point, so we've got over seven grand. Okay, well, well we're gonna have we to want to see. go for the 14 now, right? So we need to double our money. What, the fast one? Is there a casino nearby? Oh, oh I, I think there might be. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we get oh, all in. Oh. All in. All in. Do you really want, I, think, oh, I mean, I, I'm not a gambling man. Oh, I'm not. I am. No. But um, I love it. Yeah. This is all we have, and my powers are only go so far. You know what? We do have the toad. A few days ago, maybe a week or two ago, we didn't have any of that. That's true. No, so. I've never seen that much. So I what do you want to do? Rob the in. miners and oilers? Are we robbing? Well, we or we can just, rob them. Yeah. Or are we going to work up there? Well, I don't know. I don't know work in a mine. I've below me in many ways. What was the second thing you said about what about oilers you? You heading to secluded mud flats containing uh, hot oil geysers? We need the oil and the lead. No, oh, I like oily geysers. Geyser, I believe it's oh, geyser. pronounced in my tongue. All right, well, we'll follow those two up after the meeting, I reckon. Let's just see. We've we got, we got a lot of fingers in a lot of pies at the moment. Let's just yeah, see. Let's what let's let's gold sounds very nice. Save our money until we've got enough to get that good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus, yeah, I might indeed. be able to, you know, give him an autograph. Yeah, get some I think we should definitely get some discount. Song. This is ridiculous. 14K. Yeah, this, yeah, it's overpriced. Uh, 8K for that. A mi a meal, a mealy, a mi a mirror. A mirror. Oh, uh, sorry, you're still there. Mira. Of course. Hello. A mirror. Sorry about that. No, I don't need to see my reflection. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. You no. must be a bard. I, uh, I am, yeah. <laughs> I can tell I, by the assortment of instruments hanging yeah, off I your body. Yeah, I do songs. I'm looking to get into stand-up, though. Are you? Yeah. yeah. You seem to be doing pretty well right now. Thank you. That's really nice. That's uh, better than most of the stuff you've ever said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, do you know, you might have heard of me. You might have heard of me. He's using it already. Yeah. Have you heard of Sticky Mickey? I've toured a, a lot around these halls. It's not a sex act. Usually in the taverns. Done a few bigger shows. Give me a charisma check. Ah, <laughs> that's two. That's two. Okay. Oh, plus, good. So, that's good. Plus. Solid start. What on earth could you plus to that? Plus. Uh, where is uh, three? Looking? That five. I'm sorry, no, I haven't. What sort of things do you, what music do you make? Oh, I do all sorts of music. Uh, recently, I've been writing a lot of. Um, Promotional material for people that we've met on our journeys. Oh, really? Like adverts and things like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, uh, in return for services, uh, I give them songs of goodwill and good words, uh, and they benefit greatly from the business that my performances generate. Oh, yeah, we fantastic. do a lot of traveling, obviously, get the word beyond the goal two files. You know, there's quite a few shipyards, for example, oh. that you've made songs for that really spread the, the news of like how good those ships are. And then people that, from all you, walks of life. That, that one last year, I did the, yeah. uh, the shipyard of the island. Yeah. They sold like all their ships the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. crazy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did your, yeah. do your song somehow magically make people rich as well? It's no, well, oh. it gets to the rich people, yeah. you see. The thing is, when it comes to uh, shipbuilding, especially at our level on our quality, uh, it becomes less about advertising and more about having the customer base. Yeah. You know, like having the people with the pockets deep enough. Of course. Um, yeah, you need so, I mean, pockets. if you could perhaps bring some clients, then I can cut wow. you some commission. 
Uh, but Whoa. beyond that, I, I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of value in a song. Um, They're not. Just personally, would you like a not. would you like an autograph? No, I don't know who you are, mate. You you will. You you oh you're there. Am I going to? Well, tell you what. You make sure I come to regret it, huh? Why don't you next time I do a show on this island? Yep. I'll come down there and I'll get you. To come when along. is your next show? I don't know yet. I've, None uh, planned. Not not planned just yet. I, I tend to just like roll with the bookings, you know. Uh, right. We've not got tour on at the moment. Normally we have a big tour. I've been taking some time out to write some new material. Oh yeah. Moment. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be touring with that soon. Yeah. You say you uh you see all the ships coming in and out. Yes. Yeah. We we we. I mean, we're big ship enthusiasts, uh, as you can imagine. You see the one from the city by the sea. I uh, don't think I've seen one come in recently, but I have no. seen some in the past. They make incredible ships. Yeah, yeah. we're mates with them. Really? Yeah, yeah. How do Firebird. you know them? Uh, we actually uh, engaged in a big battle with them and wow. became battle so, friends. Yeah. Saved their life and Saved their, their ship, life basically. from a huge tentacle creature. Octopus, I think they call it. Octopus. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it was like a kraken. Kraken. Oh, one it. of the great yeah. beasts of the ocean. One of the oh. great beasts. Great and beasts of the they offered yeah. to be like, they're going to be in the Gold Sufal soon and we'll be like, oh yeah, we'll hang out and then probably go kill a beast together and stuff. Yeah. And their ships are like, Really good. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, ours are as well. Um, I, yeah, I confess that we, we, we take great pride in, in the incredible things we do here, but they have some of the other greatest shipbuilders yeah. in the entire world. I wonder well, where they made theirs. I wonder where they got well, I know. such a high quality. Well, we yeah. know because well, uh, we're well, all mates. They have I a good amount of no, uh, yeah. the area, the, the, the city by the sea in particular, the mountains and hillsides there have uh, great ores, and, and yeah. uh, the metallurgists and things like that from that mm. area are. Some of the best in the world. They are pioneers. Wouldn't it be something uh, to like establish a trade network with them? Oh, it would. So that you could get some of those exotic materials and. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we, we would love to. I, I think that they're. Food very... for thought. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. We could be that missing link. Oh, really? You offering to do some 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 caravanning for me? Maybe for a. Maybe. For a ship. Yeah. You supply us the ship to put the resources on. That network is created for you, perhaps. Perhaps this is quite an impromptu business pitch. But I'm just throwing things sky blue thinking out here. It is. I mean, I, I, something like that could be arranged. Yes, yeah. I, I need a bit more of a formal sort of business plan discussion. Mm. Very lucky day for you, isn't it? Really. What kind of ship would you need? To, I, I mean, the, the kind of huge cargo. Exactly. The ores alone, the metals, they're heavy. Mm. Yeah, you might have to knock off one of your custom customers and be like, sorry, that ship's now. Mm. Are far more important. My reputation right. would be in tatters if I, I. It's been six months they've been waiting for some of these ships. I can't. There would be a great personal cost to me. I'd have to have some certain assurances. Right. Well, there are some other shipyards we could probably yeah, we've seen go quite to. Yeah. But it's been nice talking to you. Thank you. One last question. Sorry for. Yes. Uh, do you offer finance? Finance. <laughs> like a yeah, buy now, pay later. Package, maybe. Say what? You come to me with a proposal. Uh, mm. And I'll see what we can do. Uh, so we'll get married, right? Right. Yeah. I don't have a ring. I just don't want to go to a wedding. No. I don't what proposals have you got to do with this? That's the interesting. Just want to pay now, or later. Idea. Okay. Um, hey, would you look at the time on my wrist? What We've got to go to that meeting. Oh, oh, come yeah. to the just sun. The, the wind. The the same oh, time I must be getting near seven. Yeah. I've got really sensitive yeah. hairs on my wrist at this point, and I know. Well, gentlemen, let me see back up to the piers safely off the pontoons, and uh, I hope kind. to see you again soon. Thank Very you. Kind. Please consider Thank our used-approved ships. Thank you. Um, Very humble beginnings sort of place. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This place. Mm. Yeah. It's what Doesn't look as much security either. It seems like you've. Anyone could take. Anyone a ship could just take a ship. Have you ever thought about security? Maybe we could. Maybe we can fill that hole, maybe oh. as well. Oh. I don't know why you're asking. What are you asking? Well, I'm just here? curious. Uh, has anyone ever run away with one of these ships? It looks like there's no one here guarding these ships. Boom, could... straight on the runners, why straight you, out to sea. You sh I'm just saying that's something you should probably think about. Well, there's a certain amount of trust, and obviously if, if, course, if no, a yeah, person trust. were to steal from somebody in the Gold Tooth Isle, everybody else in the Gold Tooth Isle would hear about it. There would be a black mark yeah. against their name. So well, no, we we were but what if you didn't know who did it? Like, have you got? Um, we're just checking your security system through. Yeah. Like, if we ordered the ship, that yeah, I mean, I don't know. You what would you say with this line weakness. of questioning? But we're I'm... trying to make sure you're safe. What is the weakness in your security system? Would you say that you would like, if you had time, you'd you could really bolster invest it. into? I think it's overly lethal. It's just too, too lethal. Too, too lethal. lethal. You kill the, the, the militia and the guards. Although you know, law enforcement is somewhat informal here oh, on the Gold Tooth Isle. Right. They have been getting quite frustrated with the number of times that um, thieves have been blown to pieces. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. um, right. I know that much. Sounds, that sounds, sounds painful. Sounds does sound painful. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Thanks. it's very quick. 
I mean, yeah. some of the guys in my shop are developing exploding shells, um, mm -hmm. not just hot shot, shells that actually explode on a timer. Um, mm -hmm. And um, we like, lodged one of those in a bloke's chest once, and it took us about six mm -hmm. weeks to just wipe them off the walls. Jeez, nasty. It's a long time. They, so you need it as a cleaning issue? There is a cleaning issue. We don't have a wizard. Uh, do much cleaning? I can do a little bit of cleaning, yeah. Well, maybe we could pay you for that. Oh, how much? Like for the other, I mean, have you got anything that needs cleaning? You need cleaning? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the workshop could do with the spruce up. Yeah, yeah. How much would I acquire for some? I don't know, a couple of silver an hour? Oh, I'll 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 look, we've got better things to do. Okay, it's just cleaning. I know, it's just cleaning. Don't reduce yourself to it. We've know, got such a big ridiculous. business venture here. Yeah, anyway, thank you, Amira. Good luck with the cleaning. And uh, we might be back. Might be back in tomorrow. The morning. We might yeah. be back. There's a couple of other ship places yeah. we need to kind of check out first. Yeah, we're just about done here. We've got to go. So oh the no, next yeah, one. they're very important meeting. So busy. Yeah. You're off the but test drive. Good drives. luck. I could take you out for a spin around the bay, sure. Oh, right, brilliant. Nice. Do you ever do the test drives you where you don't come with us, but we go out? Yeah, we get like a long weekend. Do you Lunch ever do night. those test drives? Sometimes you get them with ships. Mm, I'd have to put some sort of scrying spell on the ship to make sure we keep an eye on you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm just being sensible here, you know? This yeah. is a lawless place, you've got to watch yourself. You should be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. Wherever yeah. you are. Okay. There are people like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, we really should be... Um, uh, okay, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll see you soon. Thanks yeah. for coming. Yes, and they, she you. walks back into her shop and just starts shouting a few orders at people. Um, Adams, how's that new cannonball design looking? And it's what you hear as she walks in. Well, that was quite disappointing, wasn't it? Wow, well, she was like putty in our hands. I don't know, was she? Yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. Totally. I reckon we can get 50% off at least. You 50, reckon? That's how quite a large you, percentage. That? Well, just, Do you think just the whittling toad? it down. The toad will work this time again? I mean, I feel like we've got I think a lot ultimately we resort to toad. I could start could singing just... her a song. Yeah. I don't think the song thing is going to work for everyone. You didn't even know who you were. Yeah but, I, once I, yeah, but the thing is also, once I start singing, some people, you know, just go into some sort of trance. It's sure. weird. But... No, but we'll try the toad first before the singing. I, d before. I don't know if... Um, you know, it's, it's not good, but I have really got my heart set on like the nicest ship there yeah. as well. The 14 well. grand. The 14, 14 the grand. Yeah. One. Wasn't that nice? That was real nice. It was nice. It was nice, uh, yeah. uh, Also, gentlemen, obviously, off, we got together just before this voyage to get this ship for Mickle. Yeah. We're now about to return the ship. Yeah. Just uh, on like friendship terms. Yeah. Um, Are you okay there? You got like allergic <laughs> yeah, reactions. Yeah, no, I don't know. Like, we're, Is it a turtle? Yeah, it's just the, just the wind's blowing a little bit this way. It, it does happen. It like, can make you weep. I've I've obviously had loads of friends um, previously. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you you guys are like, are we still going to be friends after this? Are we? Because we're looking at ships together now. Like, right, what yeah. are we what are we doing after this? Like, once we haven't got the ship to oh, do anymore. Like, we've had like one big mission, and like. I feel like we'll just we, have like a timeshare type thing with the ship. Like you will have it for a bit, I'll have it. Yeah, for I wasn't a bit. open to hang out with you I mean, guys. Not, I feel like it's uh, more of a like once I've got it, I'll use it for certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, like every, every, not every for, day, but we can like we can still be, right. we can still timeshares work wonderfully where I'm from. Everyone loves a timeshare. So we won't see. Each, well, yeah, but we can also see. do it together. We'll see. Yeah, you know, I'm not quite sure what you're trying to get at, but I, yeah, I can't wait to just go off sailing on my own. And but what if I want to sail like at the same time as you? Well, could you have we to wait, just, wouldn't you? Well, could we not come I really up? wouldn't want you well, on the ship. Let's focus on the ship. Let's, let's not let's well, get that's, that's, yeah, let's that's focus the thing. I'm just wondering what we're buying the ship for. If right, we're about no, to return, we're, we're about to complete. I'm actually quite curious about, about to complete the our horn mission. situation. I don't know if, remember the horn dimension of the horn. Yeah, I actually want to go to that at some point. Right, get a beast. Kind of something that I'm in. So we're going together for that, okay? As friends. Yes, we can work out like best friends. But stay out of the water because that's probably been more. I don't want to say burden. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. been a bit, bit of a burden. Yeah, there's points. a lot of times we've had to pluck you Just out of the water. Um, in fact, maybe swimming lessons. Maybe we can I, try I and could, introduce swimming yeah. lessons. Yeah. I could take some swimming lessons. Yeah, you could teach yeah. me or take me somewhere that would to, be, to teach me to swim. That'd be good. So we've got, got, time got now, loads though. to do as friends. Loads to do. Let's yeah, that's okay then. on with the Mickle thing, get some money, see what I'm Brilliant, let's go. Yeah, I suppose you can stick around for a bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway. Um, let's, let's crack on, let's try and find... Where was uh, that place we were trying to get to? The Lusty Dog Well, or he something. said he was going to send someone for us and about now, so oh. I guess we just wait okay. for someone to find us. Oh, hello, 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 oh, excuse me. Oh, hello, oh. hello, excuse me. Is this the last Just up ahead as you get to the top of the pier, oh, off to the left of the, the, the big work, uh, the big shipyard, you see a familiar froggy face pushing oh, no, their way through the crowd. Oh, oh, excuse me, ha, the laughing ha, one. There he is. Hello. Gentlemen, hello. Hello. It is I, Yo-Yo. Yo. Goyo. 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 Goyo.
uh, would you be free now to come for a meeting with Mikkel? Yes, sure, yeah. Is there a yeah. carriage or like some kind of like um, automobile? Uh, sadly, the or... only carriage is your feet. Very well. Is it far? Uh, no, perhaps five, ten minutes walk. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Lead the way. So go 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 steps in, I guess. Goyo takes you back past the Turtle Bay, back past um, Flagon's apothecary shop, towards the centre again where you first stepped off of the piers. Uh, instead of turning right, the direction you came, you instead head straight forwards, opposite the piers, up into the middle of town. You go up a, a light hill, um, a, sl a slight incline, um, and again, you're going through sort of a more developed part of town here. So the buildings are slightly taller, three storeys, sometimes four. Um, and there are all kinds of things. There are big trade houses, there are businesses here um, handling the export and import of goods. There are inns uh, with lots of rooms for people to stay in. There are a few other restaurants, there are shops. Again, um, sundries, uh, chandlers, I hear the boat There are noticeable shops. like wealth. Yeah, this is a developed wealthy part of town. Yeah, exactly, yeah, this is, this is perhaps the core of the old town now, um, rather than the sort of more of the lean-tos and developing elements around the outskirts of the town, you are in, in the centre here. Um, up the main concourse, you walk for a few minutes until on the right, there you, you see a large uh, pub called The Crown. Uh, now, this is a three-storey building um, with a large... Oh, uh, swing doors as the centre, a little bit like a saloon you would walk into is the entrance to the building. Either side of that are walkways with patrons standing around, chatting, smoking, drinking. Um, there are tables lining the outside of this external house walkway. Um, large windows uh, look in on this building. Is uh, Inside there are tables for patrons to eat and drink. There are musicians in a corner. As you step through uh, this wooden building's entrance, uh, you come into the inside ground floor of the inn. Uh, there is a large, long bar to the uh, left of of the of the pub. Um, behind that is the kitchen, and uh, you can see cooks working on various things behind this bar through a couple of small service windows. Uh, waiting staff are moving from the kitchen out into the area where lots of people of many different kinds, mainly quite affluent looking, a few other sort of smaller tables with. People that have been on very long voyages, they're exhausted, they're a bit blown out, being served good food. There's a lot of clatter and noise as um, plates and chatting is going on. The bar has numerous patrons lining it. The bar is a very long bar, it's about 50 feet long, so it sort of covers the entire side of one of the buildings, um, side of the building. Uh, to the back right corner, uh, you see a raised stage sort of area. And this is clearly sort of a VIP area. There are several large booths um, which have tables set into them. Uh, the booths themselves have leather uh, sort of sofas built into the back of them. Um, and along the front are chairs, uh, nice ornate looking chairs that sort of uh, add on to the table that sits within the booth. Within one of these booths, there is a grand looking gentleman. Goyo leads uh, you through the crowded inn. Um, da dancing between tables and waiting staff um, and to this table. Uh, Goyo takes a seat to the side of this table at a small writing desk with, which is filled with quills and pieces of vellum, uh, old pieces of parchment and things like that and uh, mutters to before you approach the table to this gentleman sat down. You don't know what he says but it's something along the lines of I bought them for you. And this gentleman stands up in front of you, stands from his seat in the booth uh, he is a tall, rich-looking gentleman. He has a large red beard, a big, wide-brimmed hat with yellow and pink feathers bursting from it. His coat is that of an ornate captain's jacket in red with gold details. He has a large red sash with a big gold buckle on it, um, blue pantaloons and high boots. He has on his hand, uh, well, rather, one of his hands, his right hand is missing. He has a beautiful golden hook that he has currently got a fork attached to as he has been dining on what looks like some excellent food. Uh, he stands to greet you and he says, Ah, my friends, you have finally made it here. 
Mr. Salgo. Welcome to Good my Good to pub. see you again. Hello, sir. It, it is. Great to finally Hello. meet you. Good to meet you it as is an well. Honor. My name is Mikkel Salgo. You may know of me. Uh, this is my inn, and you, I believe, according to my associate Goyo here, have safely returned my ship. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, sir. In spick and span condition. Fantastic crew. Maybe even enhanced. We've got some of the crew with us. Oh, we oh, managed to take we've... some of the crew off of the Where's ship. We, be? we found a way. Yeah. Oh, wait, before, before business, before we start business, here, perhaps have a look at the menu. Oh. Oh, oh, well, I am a little bit hungry. Excuse me, excuse me. He gestures across the, the room oh, to one lovely. of the waiting staff. Please, 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 my friends, require Ooh. some drinks. And good some stuff. food, perhaps. Oh, okay. Well, the good uh, stuff. So I guess we'll just have some meat. Food. Unspecified or and specified oh, meat. Yeah, okay. Or meat comes with a I'll fresh probably just get local. one of everything. Yeah, mm. the lot. One of everything. A lot. One of everything. I wouldn't mind uh, a one of everything kind of person. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you look like a one of everything person too. Look how oh. ornate your your coat is. Quite it's right. I, I like to sample the the, the delicacies and delights of the thousand teeth. I still haven't had my fill yet. <laughs> oh Christ! Um, so one of everything it is. Bring them one of everything. And uh, the way it sort of goes. They're gonna be like chipping into our cut of this business. Oh no, deal. please oh. on the house. Oh brilliant. Oh, okay, I saw the price there. And... Your generosity speaks volumes. It really does make waves in the community. Oh, you're too kind, you're too kind. Well. Um, now, please tell me, how was your voyage? Oh, excellent. To From, say... We actually managed to savagely destroy a sea beast larger than a galleon. Wow. I know. You're kidding me, you took no, on a I'm sea not, beast. I'm not kidding The you. ship's okay, right? The, the ship's, ship's absolutely great. fine. It's, it's in fine condition. Absolutely fine. And not to mention, we have networked with some People that you may know from the Firebird yeah, city yeah, by the yeah. sea. Oh, they were in serious distress until we came along with your fine ship and provided assistance, knocking this huge gargantuan kraken out of the sea. Yeah. Wow. Well, I thank you very much for once more enhancing the reputation of the Fat Duck. That's right. Indeed. Yeah. That's certainly what it was Who called. else did we see? Uh, loads of people. Oh, we saw a wizard. Yeah, a wizard. On a coast. What weather wizard? Yeah. Oh, one of the famous Empire weather wizards. Of course. What yeah. were they like? We saw another one on a night that owned an island oh, set up um, as well. Periwinkle. Yeah. Periwinkle. Ah, yeah. oh, yes, Many Periwinkle. Yes, yes, yes. No, I know. And Flagon uh, of the Mankees. Flagon, who Flagon, Flagon, yes, on yes, the yes they've done some transmutation work. Everyone for me speaks about you, but we've really got around and uh, just be promoting, honestly, your reputation. The fat Duck as well. I didn't well. even pay you for that. Thank you very yeah, much. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Definitely yeah. been promoting the name of Fat Duck as well. Yeah. The, yeah. Now let me see my crew. Ah. Oh, oh, where are the... Uh, oh, what, only got, not the whole lot. Only what did you do? Did you bring the mirror? Uh, no, have a look in this oh, hole. The, the mirror. mirror. Oh, the hole down. The mirror. There you go, look at that hole there. Oh, uh, a, a portable hole. I haven't seen one of these oh, in some time. Yeah, they said they thing. Turns out there's a way to get them off ship. And this is one of them. Mm. He looks into the hole and he sees him. Dinky? Oh, hello, Mickle. It's so good to see you again. We've been on quite the adventure. Oh, I'm glad to hear, Dinky. What, uh, it's great to see you off the ship. Can, can you leave the hole? I don't, I don't think so. More of a, like a sightseeing it's just tour. A, they just want to have a look around and we thought there. Uh, they've done some great things for us. Is there a boy in this hole? There is a small boy. Kevin, show your face. Hello? Kevin! Hello, I'm here! Yes. Face. What do you want me to do with all the gold? Do, what? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. There's a load of gold no, in here. Shut up. Shut up. No. Pull up the hole. Pull up the hole. Pull up the hole. Fucking hell. Sorry. Uh. Apologies, Mick. I didn't mean to bother you with that claptrap. But how, how? So they're just in the hole? They're, they're, they're in just, the hole. They're chilling That's... in the hole for now. It's a, it's a kind of workaround. They're just having a little sightseeing talk. So they want to see the outside world. We felt a little bit bad. They've done some great things for us. Yeah, and the spirits, they um, don't need to breathe. Usually these holes, you suffocate if you put a living thing in it, but these are spirits, they don't need to. Yeah. Yes, well, they're, they're ethereals, yeah, of some form. Um, yeah, that's right. Two of them were lovers. Oh. Ah, Barry that. and Dinky, they're Barry love. And Dinky, they yes. both they, wanted the hole. Oh. <laughs> they said they wanted some private time in, in the hole. We no, let up. me tell you, that's some serious semen. Worrying. Yeah, yes. they they are real we put them in there with Kevin. Yeah. But Kevin is in there, which oh, is... Oh, Kevin's seen it all before. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure he tell there's something behind his He acts all innocent, but Kevin knows what's happening. He loves it. There's a damaged... Look, he does he's still a damaged look. Well, it, it's a, more his hearing, I think, that's gone. He, he, yeah. he helped us work the cannons frequently. He's an expert cannonball loader. Yeah. Him with uh, the hotshot. 
Well, I got him to load a few enchanted cannons that hit the Kraken. Yeah, oh, very, enchanted! Yeah, yeah. Have you made some modifications to the so, ship? Yes, a couple of enhancements. Yeah. Uh, if, if you don't mind us doing so, it was to assist with your friends and fiber. We got a little nipper on the front. A oh, biter. Yes. I like to call it a little, little nipper. Biter. It can be yeah. removed if you don't if you don't want it on there. But or the you... crew did a lovely job of putting mm. it on there. They've also repainted the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, I'm was... sorry. They just the look, look, look at paint. Yeah. A lick of paint? Yeah. yeah. Well, they've kept it in good order, I hope. Oh, because you know, obviously, yeah. every six months, six months. they've got to repaint oh, the ship yeah. otherwise. Barnacles. Yes, yes. Well, Barnacles. it's only been two months, but I, 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 I mean, we I. We really want there. it in good nick for you. Oh, that's, yeah. that's lovely. But perhaps we can go down and take a look at it sometime after dinner. Well, yeah, some point in the right dark. now. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of food to eat. Uh, and then the plates turn up now. So in oh, front of you, there's brilliant. some. Uh, some metal plates are laid down, Fantastic. and this looks wow. delicious. There's, there's, a, a there's a couple of really delicious looking plates, steaming vegetables and hunks of meat in a lovely gr uh, sort of greasy gravy. Is any of this turtle? The top. Is there any turtle meat? I don't know oh no, there's no turtle here. I think these are, this is hog. Uh, oh, okay. I think that over there might be gull. I watch out. That's the unspecified meat. I wouldn't bother with that. And then kunk kunk kunk, big uh, like tankards are put down on the table, full of like uh, frothy, foamy ale. Ah, anyway. Oh, lovely. And he picks up one for himself. He goes, uh, Down in one. Gentlemen. Down in one. Let's, let's yeah, do, you want to do this? Yes, let's both down in one. Well, Nichols never wanted to shirk a challenge. Ah, oh, let's do this. No, ding, I'm in. Ding. Right, constitution check. <laughs> That's a one. Oh. That's a natural one. Mm. <laughs> As Nichols downs his, his ale with no problems whatsoever. 23 for me. Oh, uh, Titus starts to choke. <laughs> what is this? You keep choking. <laughs> <laughs> Titus is as he's as managed to he's inhale on. his ale. He's oh. actually got ale in his lungs right now. Okay, it's it's. You are. He can't breathe. He's going slowly, going more the and gills, more. Red. out the gills. The gills. The gills. Bent. Bent it. Bent it. And as he does this. The sprays and the, and the person that was picking up the table, the tray, just before they were leave, just gets. <laughs> uh, oh. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. Just a minute, the wrong hole. Oh my Normally god. I'm I thought you'd be. I'm good at that. I'm sorry, I'm, that's embarrassing. That's okay, <laughs> no problem. Do you need a napkin or something? Yes. Napkins for the. A couple. The, the fish man. Sorry, what, what are you? He's a he trident, he's trident. gonna need a minute. Right, okay. Trident? It's funny, because I, I thought they could breathe water. Uh, not ale, apparently. Wrong, no, wrong hole. Less Different. oxygen in it, not H2O. <coughs> he's had a very cushy royal upbringing. Oh, fuck. So, you know, the, the local stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, very smooth wines and, and things uh, like that. Uh, I don't know if he's ever that I can do it again, I can try again. Down in one! No. Give me another barkeep! Do you want another one? Barkeep, please! Another! He I can't! Bring, it, bring him another! Face. Go away, and, uh, they they, they, they scoot over from the bar, the lay it down yeah. in front of you. Oh, yes, I'll join you too. I won't let this defeat me. Oh, we're well, good for you <laughs> right. for going through with it. Down in one! Down in one! Oh. 11 plus. <laughs> oh. Mikkel oh, once my. again nails it. Oh, He's down in one. He oh, loves you it. You can put him back. Mikkel, you can That is good stuff. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. That's a twelve. You drink it kind of <laughs> unimpressively. It's down. You don't choke. It just takes him a while. Oh, look at that. You didn't choke. Yeah, it's still the, the, the throat still hurts a bit. Well oh, done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, Team. great. Nice. Wow, you're down too. That's, you must feel pretty uh, woo woozy. Well, uh, it's my pub. I'm, I'm here a lot. Oh, I Let's see. just say I've got Very some well. um, resistance to But you were here before. To so how many have you had out of curiosity? Just Oh, I like to come and do the afternoon's work in here. How I've many finished off most of my, my rounds. Four. Eight now. Seven. He's darting his hands around a lot. I think he can count. How many fingers am I holding up? Seven? Twelve. I don't have twelve. That's you the joke. Don't have twelve fingers. He doesn't have a twelve. Okay, Tritons so he's... don't have twelve fingers. All right, he seems, uh, seems Mr. fairly sound of mind. <laughs> Mr. Okay. Salgo, if, I, if you don't mind me getting down to business a little bit. Oh, no, no. Sorry, I'm, I'm really caught up in the finger, the finger right, game. Yeah, oh, okay, James. Uh, that's, a, that's a nine. Twelve. That's not twelve. Thirty-three. Impossible. How many now? Four. Oh, Nine! Oh, damn. You're no. drunk! I'm drunk. He's drunk <laughs> He's already. Off his face. Yeah. He is off his tits. He knows how to party, this one. Oh. Oh. Down to business. Okay. Well, to enjoy yeah. your meals. I will uh, say, uh, 
forgive me if I'm speaking on behalf of the, the crew here. Mm. We really grew quite fond of your ship oh, beautiful. and its crew. Mm. So much so that, Fantastic you know, we're, that we're gonna feel like an empty void and part of us has been taken away. You know, once we hand it back to you, you've got something real special there. Yeah. I do. So we're looking. Why I paid you to retrieve it? Yeah, how, yeah. How much did you pay? Yeah. By the way, what was our? Why agreement? I paid you? Yeah. Well, the contract stated one of either two things: a nominal fee, or perhaps something more valuable still, depending on your request. A boon from I, Michael Salgo. So, yeah, a boon. Yes, What's a a boon. boon. This time? Um, a boon. I think it's like a sex. Oh. I'm not I ready think. for that. I, I need another I don't ale. Want a boon. I, I need, need another ale. Too. I haven't drank. Barkeep, another ale. So bring him another ale. We uh, we had a little chat I've never down had a boon at before. the shipyard earlier. There, nothing compares to your ship, but some some of them are pretty close, I guess. Uh, they're quite cheap models, bought in grand, for example. Oh, that is. I see. Cheap. I see That's a, a good price. Good price is it? Well, let's say the fat duck. I've spent hundreds of thousands. Almost. Yeah. yeah in, in the region of at least yeah. 100,000 gold. There's a Pocket. lot of love in that craft. Pocket change for you, someone like yourself, I'm sure. Well, I mean, this isn't my only pub. Of course, well. This isn't my not. only enterprise. Oh, yes. you own this course, one. Yeah. This is my pub, The Crown. Right. Mm. Well, it's a great establishment, fantastic. You, you've inspired us to follow in the footsteps of such a great entrepreneur as yourself mm. and maybe get a ship of our own and An sell the An admirable goal. Yeah. Uh, maybe, mm. you know. If, if we have to perform this boon on you, um, maybe that could be an alternative, you know? We, we get a ship, and in return, we could maybe establish some trade with some of the friends we made along the way, the city by the sea, we could go hunt a beast for you. So what are you proposing a horn. You know, it's maybe that nominal fee could stretch to a, a whole ship. A whole ship. Ooh. Half a ship? Makes well, it sound a lot, doesn't it? Well, mostly like a, a whole one, most, ideally. Most of a ship, by the way. Floating a, a functioning, sink if it's got a hole a in it. Ship. Do you a persuasion roll? Uh, we... Do you want to help me? Yeah, I, if I... Can I help him? We're both of us trying to convince him at the same time. Oh, my ale has arrived. Thank you. Uh, Constitution roll. Oh, shit. Persuasion. Plus... It's minus. Off again. I got well, nine, but I get advantage it. with Kapipi, mm, right? Or oh, do I not go? Again? Yeah. If you're assist, it's either you persuade directly, or you assist me. In Depends on which one of you wants again. to do the main persuading. Who's got the best persuasion skill? I'll um. Let me just have a word. Mickle. My man. Yes. <laughs> I feel uh, like sorry. I, I, your names. I, Goyo told me you're Kapipi. I'm Kapipi. You may have heard of me. Sticky Mickey is my stage name. I've actually uh, uh, watched people play in this pub and then played in the pub oh, down the road. Yeah. If you hire him here, he'll bring the house down. Yeah. Mostly um, from the violence. But yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a local bard and I've been touring the aisles quite well. Like if you ever need um, some entertainment that's a little bit different to what's going on in the corner at the moment, uh, I'm quite happy to, to come and play here for free on the night, you know, just because of, you know, we're, we're good friends now, you know, friends, friends of benefits and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like... Everyone's a friend of Mikkel until they're an enemy. They are. Well, we'll never be enemies. No, I uh, hope but, not. Uh, but, you know, what? We, like, like, like Sword said, we've really become attached to sailing the sea. Neither of us were sailors before, really. And, uh, you know, we're just really... You, you've inspired us. You have inspired us, Mikkel. You know, to um, get our own ship together, tour around. I can spread, you know, my, my performances further than ever with a ship. These guys can, uh, you know, get on with their doings a little bit. I know that he, he wants to try the horn or whatever it was. You, know, oh, you want to try the horn? I guess it's not the instrument. Um, no, no, there's a place called the horn. I've heard of the horn. Uh, and I want to have the horn. You'd like to take on the horn? I'd like to grab the, the horn. Don't think he By knows the what it is, but... He's I don't know what the horn is, and I'm curious. Oils. I'd like the horn. So for all of this, we'd need... We'd need a ship for the horn. Okay. I'm Titus Sebedee. Nice to meet you. I know who you are, Titus. Nice to meet Actually, you. Lovely ale. Good, yes. You seem to be very fond of it. Another ale, barkeep! So we, anyway, with all this, like, we'd, we'd really find great value in having a ship of our own. Obviously not as extravagant as the, uh, the clumsy... Uh, the fat duck. Um, but um, yeah, maybe just a little ship of our, our own that maybe uh, as payment for this, you would be uh, happy to 
or maybe not, but maybe... Drop in the ocean, could, really, you know, isn't it? Just, just, you know, maybe help some lads on their way. And... Yeah, now, roll me the persuasion. I just want to see how... You aren't getting a free ship out of Nickel, but... Well, we'll see. You might, we? you might get a bit closer to one. That's a 10 plus 9. Oh, plus 9? Mm -hmm. Why haven't you been doing all the persuading for this group? I've done a lot of persuading. What do you think all the signatures have been? Well, oh, yeah, that's true. God, nine. bloody hell. That's Plus incredible. Nine. Doesn't do I mean, minus one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pee -pee. <laughs> I've heard about you. I've heard of your name. Yeah, I've heard um, of you, yeah. In fact, tonight uh, I have a couple of uh, famous locals running a club night. I wondered if perhaps you'd be interested in being part of uh, a performance for that club night. Tonight? Yes, we've got two local DJs. Oh. Bob and Knob. He sings like oh, an angel. Bo we've met Bob and Knob. Bob and Knob. Bob and Knob, they, run, they, they run a club night every night they're here. Just, uh, they're jockey they're 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 DJs, are they? Well, yeah, they, 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 they come in and they ride these small wooden horses around and then they sort of get the crowd going. Oh, right. that kind so of, could you uh, describe the act again? So they've, they've... They have these wooden horses with wheels. Oh, okay. And they roll them in and they go around the, the bar, the, the inn, and there's getting everyone going. You, you know, mean like a stick with a horse's like a head? Stick. Sort of, yeah, and there's wheels on the bottom. Wheels on the right. bottom. Oh, yeah. That's right, all they okay. do, that's their act. They're jockeys, yeah. That's what um, they do. No, but, the... but then they, they compare other acts. Right. They organize other acts of people. Gosh. So I was going to say, because you haven't seen him perform. I have not. That sounds like child's play in comparison to what he can do. It's amazing stuff. Honestly, he's voice of an angel. Really? Yeah. Voice of an angel. If well, an angel took the form of a turtle. Yeah. A giant turtle, yeah, of course. Turtle, 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 turtle. Yeah, we, we ate different. turtle recently. No, yeah, yeah, very yeah. different things. We didn't yeah. eat um, We don't eat turtles. We don't eat turtles. But yeah, like we've... Probably. Maybe. We've, we've obviously done a Have lot for you. Have you tried turtle? Well, don't say it loud. <laughs> we've obviously done a lot for you, Mikkel. And uh, I'm willing to go even further for you, because you seem like such a... You're really so, willing to go all the way? All the, all the way, the club night, whatever you need. Is this you the need, booning Michael? we've been talking this about? This is the boon. Oh, God. Here we go. Hail, maybe. I can do you a little favor if you do me a little favor. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. If I'll do you a favor, maybe we can talk about ship. Yeah. I'll, what, what, Look, I'll tell you what. I'll do anything you want. I'll tell you what. You perform for me tonight, mm -hmm. or rather for Bob and Nob's big club night, mm -hmm. called Getting Nobbed. Getting Nobbed. Getting Nobbed, yeah. Getting Nobbed. Bob, then you nob. You bob to the music. Bob. Bob till you knob. Get bob nobbed. till you knob. That's a great wow. Great way to meet people. Oh, it's a high class establishment. It is a classy I, place. I, I mentioned it before. It this is, is a classy a place. It is a classy and place. I can't wait for the knobbing. <laughs> that means something different in this world. Yes. I've got one, Perry. No, it I'm, doesn't. Uh, it means exactly <laughs> what it sounds like. Kevin will no, know. Um, anyway, you put on that show and I'll see if I can get you a discount. One of the local ship shipyards. How about that? Yes. Uh, yeah, just out of interest, nice what one. were you going to pay us? Yeah, what's the nominal fee? Go, yo, what have we got? And he's like, okay, yes, sir, oh, one second. And he, and he hands over a, a little slip to, to him, not to you. Come on, that's, that's Sorry, that I was just nice. Sorry, he's, he's, he's yeah, had a few. Yeah. I wasn't sure oh, if it was for me. <laughs> Your hand was so Come close on, to my face. 14K. Contract here was two and a half thousand gold. Oh, God, we're going to have to do the performance. Oh, uh, that's fine, we'll do the discount thing. That's, um... How much discount do you think? Do you want to get more? How much sway do you have of these ship where, where are the discount of now? I think I could get you perhaps 20%. 20%. 20%. What's 20% of 14,000? 2,800. That's 800. I don't, I don't trust him at all. What about 12,000? What's 20% of that? I there? think that's 2,000. Those numbers don't make sense to me anymore. That's 400 more. But it's, it seems worth it unless we go for the cheap one. You're going to have to put on the performance of your life. Ding! <laughs> Sing. Okay, Sing. I'll take the Bob discount. Sing. We'll go Sing. to Bob and Nob, Nob Bob till you knob. <coughs> of Drop. course, there's 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 always the option to you know put your hat out for tips and things tonight after your show. Yeah, Perhaps we there's some. Well, well yeah, no, I crowd. normally have a little uh, little uh, little uh, hat. little uh, hat at the front there. Was it Bob or Nob that's a huge fan of yours? Oh, well, I can't tell them apart. So whichever Nob. has the the, the, the one that's all on scratched up. Yeah. Nob, I think. Sorry. Yeah, huge fan. He uh, can't remember. Okay. Nob himself doesn't. I can't remember which yeah. one he is. They just turn up on the day and they decide which one's going to be Nob and which one's going to be Bob. Fair enough, yeah. Any uh, preference of what you'd like me to perform later for you, sir? <laughs> your best. Only your best. Only your best your acts. Best. I'll perform my latest hit. It's called The Fat Duck. Ha <laughs> ha! After my own ship, I love it. And the exploits it's been on. Oh, it's not is about it the a ship, version? it's about this duck Play I saw down by the version. river. For God's sake. Just Yes, it yes, it's, it's it's about your ship. It's not about very good, a, very good. My fat, duck. Change a couple my of words. fat, fat little duck. Yeah, it's mm. not about a duck I saw. Oh, I love my ship. The colour scheme, the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. much about it. I cannot yeah. wait to lay eyes upon it again. Yeah. Do you want to see it now that it's dark? 
It's dark now. It's dark yes, enough. let's let's stroll down. Let's yeah. go for a stroll. Let's go and sit, let's, check let's check everything's little... in ship shape, shall yeah. we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. And he stands I know what he did there. I he shoveled the, the food down. It's in front of me. The unspecified Constitution Jack. Goal meat. <laughs> it is still a ship shape as well. Yeah. It's still a ship shape. It'll be the ship. It's eleven plus five, so yeah, sixteen. No problem. You eat it. It's nourishing. Oh. A Not great. Aftertaste on that it's one. It's a bit chalky. Ugh. A bit like. A bit gristly and bit. Is that a seagull? Yeah, I think. Did I you just eat walked the down the seagull. Oh, yeah. it smelled so bad. Yeah, I was hungry. But there's other meat. There's a hog meat there. All I've had today is turtle. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. Lots of it. Lots of time. To be fair, I'm not hungry at all. Yeah. You guys have come from a pretty much. big lunch. Yeah. Um, anyway, we never know when we're going to get a meal again. I'll have some of this hog then, but that, I believe in it. Fine. Let's, take Let's head down to, the, down to the port. You go, do you do donkey bags here? Do donkey bags? Do donkey bags. Do you do donkey no, bags? No, there are donkey bags here. We pack this up and take it on the donkey. What are you doing with all the turtles you've got, by the way? They're just all strapped to Kapipi? Yeah, they're, on they're his back, aren't they? on my shell. Yeah, but I've got a lot on here. Instruments, everything. It's like yes, yes, I, I, I can get you some doggy bags. Staff, please, attend, bags. empty their plates, put them on into bags. That'd be great. Thank you. Oh God, they made it. Ah, right. Dogs. Let us. He wasn't joking. Yeah, yeah. Let us head us. Uh, these are stray dogs. We've oh, turned into bags. Here you wow. go, doggy bags. Reusable. If we named them anything else, would you have provided a different type of bag? Yeah. Doggy bag, that's where the name no, comes they from. That's oh, what they okay. are. That's Brilliant. how they're right. famous for doggy bags I guess you don't get these here. underwater. No, you don't really, no. Like, we just feel like a giant tuna. Well, that used to be a basset. Oh, of course. You can tell that's by terrible. the way that the, the, the face... The face is stretched, you can see it can underneath, a, look. A bigger dog, <laughs> yeah. It's a very stretched His face. His mouth stitched shut, yeah. so there's not a hole stretched in the bag. Stretched wide. That's it, so, so it's like the mouth is the entrance to the bag. <laughs> yeah. So you, you wow. put your hand in the basset's mouth, wow. pull it out. And it's just pulling the brain out, but it's all just loose yeah. meat and sloppiness. Lovely. So you, you've got that. You can leave. Head down to the pier. Back down. You you can find your way. It's getting a bit quieter now. It's seven eight o'clock at night. It's getting a bit dodgy actually. It's getting a little bit more shady. Watch your pockets. Lanterns have been lit, um, uh, casting nice golden but quite dim light across uh, the neighbourhoods and out across the pier. Torches are burning. Do any of you have dark vision? I, I have dark vision. Yeah. I think a sword I'm not might sure as I well. Do. Activate dark vision. Whoa! Oh my god, I can see things I didn't see before. It's like two headlights. When I activate this on the daylight, I can see infrared and it hurts. I've got dark vision. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. I think you were. Feet. Okay, so you see fine. It's all black um, and white though. Kapipi, you're still seeing okay, but it's kind of dim outside of the light. Um, you head up down the pier, clomping away. Your boots are now on thick wooden beams of the pier. Uh, you round a couple of corners. A uh, few of the people that are late on the tide are still unloading, but like I say, it's getting a lot quieter now, a lot less busy. There are shadiest characters uh, sitting around on stacked <coughs> barrels. Uh, the occasional proposition comes your way for a, uh, a tumble. There you go, that's what you get. Or a, a toke. What's a tumble? What's a tumble? I've had a few, I've had a few drinks, madam. What does a tumble? Uh, there's this guy that looks at you. What does a tumble, sir? His, his face is a mess. It looks like he's been grab him terribly by, burnt. By his collar. Wearing... What is the tumble, sir? <laughs> <laughs> right, are you handsome, Andy? Sir, what is a tumble? It's a night with me. Um, it's uh, Are you funny? No, I'm handsy, though. Oh, Awful handsy. Right, well, and I'm not it? judgmental. You got anything weird you like to do? I'm usually up for it. Beyond happened, maiming, what? I'm good to go. What happens on an evening with you? I do a proposition men like yourself as they wander by, hopefully a little bit drunk like yourself. And then I say a couple coppers will go behind these barrels and have a bit of a fumble. Are the police okay with that? There aren't any police. Oh, you said a couple of coppers are joining us. Oh, a joker. <laughs> nice. No, no, I'll give you a discount if you like. I like the funny ones. I'm okay for the tumble right now. I've got some of we're looking at a ship, you know. Oh, very nice. Hey, there's loads of them. But very we're fancy, at one of them. man. Oh, I know. Uh, anyway. You got a couple of coppers on you, surely. Sorry? Can I have a couple of coppers? No, I don't deal with the police. I'll see you later. Can I silver then? I said, I'll see you later. Ah! And hand me. And he puts his hood back up and comes, becomes once again faded into the shadows as part of the background. Another man propositions you moments later. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, you. Hold on. Can I offer, offer me a tumble? Oh, I wouldn't want to go with him, mate. I wouldn't go with him. No, not Ants Mandy. Oh, why not? But He's got the monkey pox. Monkey pox. I did oh, it. Oh, no. So I've touched, I tumbled a bullet. Well, you, you've you've tumbled dodged a bullet there. The yeah, you got it from some of the marmosets that live up in the trees. Oh, I like marmosets. They're very Yeah, cute. he likes marmosets as well. Too much. <laughs> What's he going to do with those tiny creatures? He puts them in his pants. He says it feels funny when they run around and they're trying to escape. Yeah, got it. Probably does. 
It does, yeah. Should I try that now? No, but would you like a tumble or a fumble? Oh, what's the, what happens with the fumble instead of the tumble? The fumble is more of a quick thing. I'll just shove my hands in your pants, fumble it around a bit. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe it'll just feel a little bit like you're being assaulted. Six silver. Six silver. Uh, I've got two coppers. Where are they? <laughs> just behind me, mate. Oh, God, I'm gonna eat him! Run! He runs off down the pier. Right. Oh, right, where were we? Where am I going? Oh, guys! Uh, okay, well... <laughs> yeah, we don't see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, Titus is like, lag behind you as you're like, following Mickle down. <laughs> Titus catch, jogs up and catches you. Um, uh, oh, are you speaking to some of the locals? Yeah, I was just tumbling and fumbling. You need to be careful. You've got any marmosets nearby. Oh, there are some in the trees, plenty of them, bloody things. Oh, little tiny little angry little monkeys, they squeak like mad. Can you lure them to me? Oh yes, you lure them with bugs or, you know, they love locusts and worms and things like that. They, they keep the insects down to be fair, but... Uh, they make an awful racket when you upset them. Uh, oh! Fuck it. Where's my ship? You wanna lead me to it? Uh, yeah, right there. And you point at his ship? Yeah. But, at, but you point... Well, yeah. this looks... Right, they're back to the pub, let's go get a drink! It's quite dark, I, mean, I can't... Well, it, it looks... What's this? Is this Still a different there. sign? What? A clumsy goose? What was this? Oh, you're the clumsy oh, goose. Oh. <laughs> Are you not parched? We should get some more drinks here. Yeah. The clumsy goose. No, no, no. It's a clumsy goose. <laughs> what, 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 what is this? This isn't my boat. It no. looks like my boat. Oh, it's right. the same shape. We, uh, we, because we knew you weren't sailing the oh. ship, we decided to just, just disguise the name in case people were looking for your... Oh, we were, <laughs> it was a security uh, measure. <laughs> A security measure? Yeah, just, so, you know, just like switching the plates up a bit so that it so doesn't... That, that'll just come straight off. That's just a bit of wood oh, over the honestly, top. it's been poorly attached. Have you heard of the Corsairs? Right you want to pull it I'll off? I'll try and pull it off. Okay. Oh, off. Yeah, yeah, give it a go. Give it a sure. go. Um, yes, don't. Give me an athletics check. 18. Yeah, yeah. good. You pull it off. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. It's, it's, just, it's under. Yeah, I mean, that well, didn't come off alarmingly easily. The funky duck. Sorry, what was duck. Funky. The fat duck. I said it's funky. It's not funky, it's fine. Fair enough. We, we had a lot of kerfuffles. Have you heard of the Corsairs? The Corsairs, uh, well, they're, it's a term for raiding pirates, I yeah. suppose, yes. Yeah, I totally knew that. And we've had some... Everyone knows who you are. Everyone knows who the fat, what the fat duck is. The so legendary ship. We were drawing so much attention. Yes. We had to uh, disguise it as the colours of the sea and the sky. And to ward them off, uh, we used a cursed face on the. It's uh, your face. I say! <laughs> it, it's, uh, no, it's friendly. It, it's friendly. It, it's, it's the total. Do you? It's, a it's calm, all friendly temporary. Face to calm down. It's just like it'll just take like a couple of hours for the, the crew to turn the ship around if you want it back to how it was. Uh, oh, it, he steps on board. Structurally, it's the same ship. Yeah, he steps up the gangplank on, on board and he finds the hat. He puts the hat on. Oh shit! Forgot he could do that. Boo! It is I, Mikkel Salgo. Where's that hole? Get my crew out of that hole, please. Yeah. On Onto ground. the deck it goes, the hole. He leans in and he pulls them out one by one. Hello. Go straight through him. Ah, I forget. Hold on, the material. <laughs> you got the gun. Get him! He picks up the hole. Get up here! He puts it against the wall. Right. Dinky, Barry, out you come. And they, they step out. Dinky says, hello, sir. Oh, hey. it's a pleasure to see you again. Back out on the deck. Ah, oh, feels so good. We're back where we belong. Barry steps out. Oh, blimey. Oh, do you need some work done? Do you need this repainting then? And they're like, he's like, yes, Barry, I still can't place your accent. But um, yes, if you can get to work, get the crew working on this, repaint the lot of it, uh, send it back to how it was, uh, do something about the sails. You don't God want to sake. see it in the daytime. Like, it looks a lot better in the daytime. Like, you might like it. I may. I'm, I'm not saying I hate it, gentlemen. And right. I do see that the reasons you may have for disguising the craft. But mm. I need to spend a little bit of money now on paint to repaint this. The sale itself probably takes some time. And uh, he closes the hole back up and gives it back to you. Thank you. We thought we were doing good. Um, there, you, no coins uh, trickled out or anything. Nothing falls out. Kevin's still in there too. Kevin's still, um, in. Oh, Kevin's still in there. Uh, he forgot. Mikkel forgets that Kevin's yes. there. <laughs> um, um, one of you, come here. Up onto the deck. Mikkel. Go on, you're the captain. Pee -pee. Pee -pee. Uh, you're I'm the, Mikkel. You've always been the captain. I'm the captain. Sticky Mickey. Look uh, at me. I, I am the captain. Yeah, I'm staying off. Yes, Mr. The captain. Can people put this it. on? And he puts the hat on you. Okay, you just watch over here a second and he steps down off the gangplank and uh, walks over to one of the um, like 
ne'er-do-wells hanging around by some of the barrels on the edge of the pier. He just whispers something to them and they run off down the pier. Are you going for a rumble and a fumble? He might. comes back. Yeah. He's like, OK, right. Yeah. I've sent somebody off to go and get one of my staff. It should be a few minutes. They'll be here and they'll oversee the repainting of the ship. No problem. Right. Um, anything else I need to know? Anything else you've changed about the ship? Anything odd? Anything that you have in supply, in stock? What needs replenishing? Oh, obviously. That cannon at the front there, that little one, that looks new. That's yeah. the addition. You can keep that's that if you want. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all yours. Keep it. Yeah. On the house. You didn't want to take it to me. You didn't want Why didn't you sell it to me? To I wouldn't mind well, it. We you want us to it. get money for it, for it do you? Like, well, you've bought this and added it to the ship, no? You have it. We're kind people. You're going to give us a lot of money, I'm sure. Well, well, that's not having you it, could just possible. create a trans. We could have a transaction so you know how much nah. money you're getting. No, okay, no, he doesn't want to. We really peddled for this one too from the Empire. Yeah, yeah. see how kind we are. Huge We're trade. Kind. Very ship. kind. Doing a performance for you later as well. Yeah. We'll okay. Just, we're giving you all this. Water under the bridge with all the repaint and all that. I see, I see. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I will I'll I'll, I'll add that. I'll take that into consideration when I'm trying to work out how much thank discount you. I can get. Thank uh, you. Well, gentlemen, uh, and one of his helpers runs down the pier, comes up onto the, the gangway, uh, gangplank. Uh, he goes, ah, Bilkins, good to see you. He gives, uh, takes the hat from Kapipi, puts it on Bilkins' head. Bilkins, overlook the, oversee this. It's a full, it's a refit, repaint, uh, should be good. Uh, check the hull for me, will you? And uh, he, it's like night, and, and Bilkins is like, Sir, really? You want me to go and check the hull? Yes, Bilkins, go and have a look at the bottom of the hull. Okay, sir, I'll do it later. So he's going to have to just jump in the water and look about in the dark. Okay, right, gentlemen. Um, on to, we're gonna go, we'll go back to the Crown. We'll hammer out some details. Yeah. And um, we need to get Kapipi ready for his club night. That's right. Oh, That's course. right. You got your stage clothes? Or is it just I, I usually just go in, like, you know, I have to dress ready for fans anyway. So course, um, yeah. I'll, I'll perform, Keep your head down. perform yeah. like this. Why is it called a club night and not just a pub night? Oh, because traditionally it started with the clanging of a club against a gong. Uh, Bob mm. and Nob have their, their clubs uh, and uh, they just said they wanted to start a club night where just basically they get them out and bang things with them. And they'll just kick it off with a gong, will they? They'll kick it off with a gong and they'll, they'll, they'll tell everyone it's, it's now in. People love to know that they're in like a certain event at a certain yes. time and that it goes from day drinking That's to right. like night drinking. Club night, exactly. Then you've got to switch up, yeah, and then pub exactly. night. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, yeah. back to the crown. Back to the crown. Very good. Everything's all 100% happy here. It's all, all good. good. This. this looks fine. I, yeah. I'm sure it'll look good in the light of day. I'm sure it will. Uh, oh, we also need to arrange uh, your uh, discount and perhaps a little tiny payment, just a little bit of sweetener for that oh, cannon. Oh, well, you should. Oh, wow. If you, you wait insist. till you see this if performance you and then insist. you might be tipping them yourself. You might be throwing <laughs> cash I cannot wait cash. to see it. Yes, me neither. Well, back to the pub. Back to the crown. And that is the end of part one of session six of Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. Thanks for watching slash listening. Uh, if you are interested, this is broadcast live every Wednesday afternoon at twitch.tv slash hatfilms. Uh, it's also available on all forms of podcasting platform for your listening. And it's available to re-watch uh, as well on uh, Hat Films' YouTube channel. Uh, give so us a review. Yeah, I, give I, us I want a to review. also personally thanks everyone that has yes. listened to it on Spotify or iTunes and yes. has left, left a rain because we have reached a chart. We have, uh, on yeah. the UK charts of leisure, we are number four as of this airing. So thank you very much to everyone. Also huge thanks to our Patreon supporters for allowing us to keep doing this. Indeed. It really helps us know that you guys enjoy it. Yep. And you can get the ad-free version on Patreon as well if you subscribe to that tier. Indeed. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye.